All right, guys, so I wanted to come and talk to you guys today about something that is important. If you drive a vehicle, more than likely, you're getting oil changes. You should be. And I know a lot of you have this in your brain because I was taught this way and I've been sticking to it for years, but I noticed being a budget woman that I have been wasting a lot of money. Now, let me tell you why. They say oil changes back in the day. And you can Google this, research this, and it'll show you. And I'm like, I've been wasting all this money? Okay, so here's the thing. They say 3,000 miles, but that was on older vehicles that did not take 100% synthetic oil. And so they did not need to run longer than 3,000 because your oil will get sluggish and it needed to be replaced and clean. When your oil sits in your car too long and it begins to get thick and sluggish, it will make other things start to mess up, like your engine, transmission, all of those things. And you don't want that to happen. But I found out, I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. We're trying to figure out because I don't go many places. If I do, it's over the road trips. And usually I work from home. So I'm only going to like the grocery store, places that are within literally a two mile, not even three mile radius. I really don't go far. So because of that, my oil changes are like few and far in between. So I was thinking to myself, I said, hold on. I said, so I've heard if it's road miles, highway, like going on a highway nonstop and you're just driving and you're putting those miles on, that really is good for the car because it's not a lot of stopping and going. And every time you stop and go, you crank that engine, which releases the oil to like make it, you know, oil and do everything to the good parts of the vehicle and make it keep running, right? So I said, okay, so if I'm not driving that much, I literally don't put that many miles on my car. And the only time that I really drive when I'm putting miles is when I'm on the highway, which is a good thing. So I'm like, uh, yeah. There has to be something that will make sense because I hear people saying, oh, they say 3,000, but you could push it out, especially if you used to getting your oil changes on time. And you know, you hearing all these things. I said, let me do research. So when I did my research and I'm seeing all these different people saying different things, this is what I came up with. And then I was a little bit upset because I just got an oil change and the guy repeated the same thing that I found out. He said to me, yeah, with the synthetic oil, you can, yeah, this car, I have a Camry. These run good and they, they're really low maintenance vehicles. He said that I can go 5,000 miles and I'm looking like, sir, I have been coming here literally, literally, I still had about 280 miles from the ticket that they put on your car to tell you to return at this time or at this mileage. I still had like two and some change, almost 300 miles. So I'd be there on time, before time, and why not? You know what I mean? Because we're going to be traveling. So I'm just like, <sighs> I just wasted, well, it used to be 51 now it's 56 and I went back in like, hey, you charged me. I brung all my receipts. I was like, because I keep them in a certain place. And I was like, uh, why is it an extra $5 to you? It may mean, not mean nothing. But if you're doing that to each and every person that come in here, but I digress. What happened was the oil went up and I, they always saying something go up. And maybe it did, but who cares? Get back to the subject. Okay, so the point is, instead of, I mean, 5000 compared to 3000 that's almost two, that's almost two oil changes of of, of time within 5,000. That's like $60 I could save. Almost 60 bucks I can save. So I'm just throwing this out there to you. Check and see if you're getting fully synthetic. If you are getting fully synthetic, girl, boy, whatever, listen. <laughs> They're taking your money and you don't have to come back as often as you think you do. And there's, and, and some of y'all oil changes cost more than that if you have trucks and, and, and um, luxury cars and all that. But if you, I believe the word that, that, yeah, he said full synthetic or all synthetic or something synthetic. You'll see when you start Googling it, it'll tell you too. I was like, ah, oh, I didn't even have to get an oil change today. I could have waited another 2,000 miles. But it's okay because I'm not coming back because I came early. I probably won't come back to about. No, I'm going to feel like, I don't know. I just love to keep making this up, but I start overthinking in the head about it. I was like, oh, well, they already got it back there. It don't matter. You know what? I'll just come back in that mid-range. I'll come back a little over five 
or right at five. I don't know. It's a learning lesson. I'll see how I feel when that time comes. I'm just a stickler about keeping up with my stuff and maintaining it. So I was like, yeah, no, I don't know if I want to take the chance. So your auntie, your girl, your sister, your mom, whatever you see me as is giving you some trinkets, some oil changes. Don't let them take your money and don't let them um, keep ripping you off. You can go longer. That was for the old vehicles. That was for the old vehicles. They had to have that. We don't have to do all that on all these vehicles now. Some of them, yeah, but not all of them. So if you got a Camry or the Camry family or anything like that and you get the synthetics, I know that, you know, we... We here, but uh, other cars are the same way. I believe Hondas as well. So look into it and yeah. So I want to share that with you. I hope this was helpful. Share it with a friend and, and family and let them know, hey, save some money, save some money. You don't need to go as often as you think. So I wanted to put that out there. I'm always with helping you guys budget, save and make life so much easier for you. So I will talk to you guys in the comments and I will see you guys later, Gators.